Them's fighting words, bit. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering, Bit just put this comment and, and, and thing in the thing. The Android Dilemma. Too much choice, yet not enough. <laughs> well, this can't... Yeah, I'm just going to move on to that because I'm trying to move some of the stuff over to the show notes here that I, that I had left over. Just just things that... that um, again, some, some things that get under my skin or get uh, grab my attention. I wasn't, I wasn't quite... Ready yet to go to uh, 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 well, I, 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 No, we'll go into it when you're ready. I was just explaining what I was talking <laughs> about. Because they can't see that. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I was just prepping. Because you can't see, you can't see the, uh, you know, the article links that I have here that I have saved. And I'm just going to have to, we're going to have to do that better show prep and just, I can get the. Uh, well, you know. like I said, I was messing with the game whose name I will not name. I know. Today. I know you are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm a little behind today. <laughs> there is one thing that I did want to bring up before, in which because uh, it was kind of the same thing in line. It was when I was posting also on Facebook, which is a very true thing. And this is a retweet, uh, and, and that I had uh, I retweeted someone else, which I thought they they said it pretty damn concisely and, and accurately. The epidemic has started. Unqualified. unqualified creative dudes start playing as developers with HTML5. You thought Flash was bad. Oh, oh Wait, I've seen you what you're talking about. You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, no. Now that was, that was so, 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 so true. Um, I just loved that tweet. I love that. It was, that's why I retweeted it. Because um, I'm so sick of this uh, open standard and Flash is terrible I don't know why. I always find myself, I am probably the least, or have the least use for Flash, and used to try to program against it. But then I'm the one fighting for it. And, and the reason being is because I fight for user choice, and really what's ubiquitous I, out there. I, I, I'm not fighting and, and I, and for I user. Don't, and I don't like consensus as much, because in all of my history, consensus is so damn slow. And I've dealt with HTML standards. I've lived most of the HTML standards already. And the thing of it is, is that the least common denominators aren't, aren't always the best. So let's leave some proprietary in there and start making it a zero-sum game argument. And if you think Flash is bad here and X, Y, and Z, it's true. What this tweet is saying, just wait. It's already happened. You're going to get this crappy HTML5 crap up there. It's going to run up your CPU. And then we're gonna just like we're already having these uh, uh, WebGL problems. Well, uh, uh, okay, here, here I, I, I do not fight against uh, against HTML or Flash for anything. So, however, and I, I I like a lot of the things HTML5 offers. I also, as somebody who works in the freaking web industry, know exactly what the fuck HTML5 is and all this shit. And this comes down to something that both you and I agree on which is the, you don't know how to code. The reality is, what most people are doing when they use JavaScript is they're using somebody else's cookie cutter JavaScript. Which is, which, which, which it, it, God, you want to talk about things that waste system resources and cause loops and bloat and other crap, oh my God. And, right. and that is going to be because writing HTML, a good HTML5 wholesome experience what we call the HTML5 experience is not just knowing HTML5. It's knowing HTML5. It's knowing how to actually write JavaScript. It's knowing well, how to write on the yeah. three frameworks that are developing around, one of which is JavaScript-like, uh, knowing how to write the, the PHP, MySQL, you know, the LAMP back end to run your front end. It's like, that is the HTML5 app cornucopia experience. In other words, actual freaking software development that just happens to be largely web page centric. Uh, well, what, what I'm, here's what I'm going to get at. All what you said is, 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 is true to the point. But even like using these canvas models or, or WebGL, what have you, and, and, and misappropriating resources or whoever, which is not going to be as extensive 
and the markup. Uh, I actually, they, I disagree adamantly because what's going to happen in the future versions of things like Dreamweaver and so forth is... Wait, wait, that, I was going to get to that. I wanted to get to that. Actually, yeah. I think you're going to hit on that point. Here's my thing about HTML5 versus, versus Flash, and, and somebody may disagree with it. But, all right, Flash is, is built is built like from, from a tool set that Adobe provides, and then, you know, people do it what with it what they want and, and sometimes produces very crappy code and there's a lot of crappy flash out there but I can take you to totally 100% flash websites that use on my Macs even my uh, son's Mac and from, from, from mid 2000s a G4 where its processors aren't even maxed out on these flash apps. as a matter of fact my son's G4 his homework utilizes flash okay for his school and it does not, it doesn't do crap to the CPU processors, right? And, and, but I can guarantee you, I can take him to a website that would, that would juice his machine, juice my Mac Pro and my other Macs in the house, uh, Windows machines, what have you. But my circles, and the reason why I'm bringing up Macs a lot is the circles that I'm around usually are, are, are Apple centric. And, and, and Apple centric tends to be like very anti flash in that regard. And the thing that I'm going to say, is that well? We have Adobe, which is a, is one source of. Is, uh, we could say that it's a, it's got a builder. It's a framework to build Flash. But what happens? Just like you said, we have Dreamweaver. We have product X, Y, and Z, and then another all these other products, which are all wizardry. You know, yeah. You don't have to do all this code. That are now pumping uh, canvas related, WebGL uh, related type. Uh, HTML5 content that could all just be flat out garbage. And instead of attacking one source, we are now going to be bombarded by a bunch of just garbage disposal things that, that are now fueling from multiple spigots rather than just one spigot. The same ads that you hate. The same CPU clogging crap that you hate and all this other stuff. So it, 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 it's, it, it's going to be it's like I said the grass well, no, is never and, and the the real problem. I'm just advocating user choice, and I'm not saying HTML5 is bad or not, but I definitely, I definitely have issues with consensus and and, and, and usually standards that have, that that struggle and struggle and take forever, and, and arguments that go on, and, and, and it's not that I don't want, I don't want it to happen. I, of course, I'll, I'll support. Uh, HTML5. I've written HTML5, but to say that to su support HTML5 in its na in its nascency, to and to spite Flash is another thing, and that's the problem that I have. Well, I, don't, yeah, I think yeah, it's ridiculous to spite Flash. E e each have their place. Now that being said, and it's more limitations of Flash at this. Point. There, there's two reasons the industry is trying to move on from Flash. One is in some cases, Flash is a hog. The other reason is limitations, some of which are true limitations of Flash, other limitations which are artificial. One limitation I can give you an example of, when you're designing a website today because you have to take mobile and slates into effect, is Flash at this time does not... I like the vector base that it has, though. Yeah. Flash yeah. Well, no, no, it has nothing to do with the resource hog. It just has to do with the fact that, for usability standpoint, it doesn't integrate well on most of these devices. Apple refuses to run it at all. Android doesn't always keep the Flash content integrated into the web page like it should be. The best executions of Flash on mobile are WebOS and BlackBerry's latest OS. They're the two best executions. They, they let the Flash content do what the Flash content was supposed to do. Stay in the page, execute where it's supposed to execute, and just be content. Uh, well, sometimes I, sometimes I will say this, though, and this is to your point that you brought up before. Many websites, including Flash-created projects, yeah. are hard as hell to click, you know, to click on and stuff like yeah, that. No, that that's but, nice. but I will say BlackBerry has done a damn good solution on it. You know, I'm able to use my trackpad and also on the, on the playbook where 
this actually becomes a mouse and you can click on it, but not right. everybody wants to do that. You know, people want to use their fingers. And their, you know, well, no, yeah, it, 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 it's all, the, the limitation right. one is the some people just keep it from working. The other is the usability uh, standpoint. The the both of some of which are limitations of technology, but to a point more artificial constructs. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's a limitation which creates a bad user experience, which creates bad yeah. use. The yeah, ab absolutely. And I think I think even if the, we use vector based within within the canvas of HTML5, I think vector uh, is the way to go. Uh, and, and those you don't know what I'm talking about versus versus bitmap. Vector is 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 utilizing your CPU to 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 let's say you have a button. If I make an image, it's it's a bitmap, and that means it's that size no matter right. what, unless I use detection to say, well, you're at a high resolution, therefore I'll go and hit another bitmap to now make you a larger area. But on vector, you it'll calculate it automatically for you using your your device's resources, and then automatically enlarge it without having to cache. Now, now other. there is now 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 th this gets under the technical limitations. Vector is great at scaling. It sucks at search because it treats his, treats everything like images. So, well, and Vector is not as detailed either. No, no, that's pretty, the other thing. That, that just, so, yeah. so for scalability of UIs and user experience, why JavaScript and these frameworks may be more inefficient with resources for being the balance between being more current technology friendly and allowing the scalability they're a more efficient use of the developer's time at this point. This is a technical limitation slash may overcome in future, but at this time it is a concern. And it's one of the reasons the, ish, the industry as a whole is like, okay, it's kind of half-heartedly supporting doing that full integration because it sees other technology that as devices become more powerful, the main drawback of the inefficiency will become less of an issue. So, but the other technical things for, well, it works well with search, it's less development time, I can just create a scaling file like a CSS sheet as opposed to having to do a rework or other things, it, it, and I still get all the optimization I would of a rework. Yeah. It's, I mean, and not everything yet. Not everything has to go vector either. I mean, yeah, obviously, you, you brought up other web technologies that we can already deal with, with text and things like that, upon text right. and uh, all this other stuff. But, I mean, if we're wanting... I guess richer looking environments to to scale appropriately and and that's the balance I guess we don't well and, and that right there is one of the reasons that HTML5 has such a fire behind it from people because if it gets developed as developed as people would like doing that stuff yeah, it's simply, does a nice job though I, 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 I know that okay. however but if the HTML5 environment develops like people want doing the exact huh? same stuff would simply be the matter of a line of code in something like a CSS style sheet, and it would create all the same things using these other things. So that 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 is what they like because that is so much less work and very easy to make adaptive things and other things. Now that's gonna make again that's that's actual coders. That's people who are going in and just messing with the actual style sheet, not these cookie cutter things. But they see the potential of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it's not. I mean, I was I was excited as is, and I lived the actual browser wars. And when Microsoft was doing their own thing, even with Java, and when we were even experiencing when Java was extremely slow at the first. The, well, the and, and what you day. bring up there is another thing that the industry needs to remember that I think they've forgotten. Once upon a time, in the early days of browsers, we could do whatever the fuck we wanted with your computer through the browser. Then we realized yeah, what we a, a lot of then we realized this oh dear god security hole and I guarantee you as we do more HTML5 things and we give the browsers more power we're going to relive that chapter of the tech That's industry where we're like oh what do you mean they took over my computer through the browser well 